And now NBC5 investigates the team's desire to stay in Chicago. This new game plan to build a stadium on the lakefront comes with plenty of unanswered questions. Our investigative reporter Bennett Haverly is here digging into how the team is going to pay for it. Likely, Bennett, how the public will pay for it. Very true, Stefan and Marion. The Bears say they are willing to commit $2 billion to build a new stadium, though the project will likely cost much, much more. They're poised to ask for public money, even as taxpayers still owe hundreds of millions of dollars from the last time. Chicago worked to keep the Bears in the city with refurbishments to Soldier Field more than 20 years ago. We are literally at the throwing spaghetti against the wall stage of all of this conversation about stadiums. Civic Federation President Joe Ferguson says the Bears shift in focus to a new stadium on museum campus is cause for concern. What's the overall expense of all of this? What are we actually doing? Um, how much are the taxpayers going to be on the hook? How is it that we ultimately would be addressing the more than half billion dollars that is outstanding? That half a billion is the amount still owed on the 2002 renovation of Soldier Field, more than $589 million to be exact. For that project, the Bears and the NFL kicked in a combined $200 million. The Illinois Sports Facilities Authority issued bonds for the remaining $398 million, backed by Chicago's hotel tax. But because of the way the deal was structured and a few refinancings later, the ISFA now owes $375 million in principal and another $214 million in interest as the Bears prepare to ask state lawmakers for another cash infusion to construct a new home. Sports stadiums are economic losers in general, uh, football in particular. University of Chicago economics professor Alan Sanderson says revenue projections for stadiums rarely meet expectations. It would be, I think, almost impossible to come close to breaking even on that type of investment. With little detail on the new stadium's total cost or how much taxpayer funding the Bears will request, Ferguson says public officials should exercise caution. All the red flags are there. We need leadership to channel all of this so that we can make a reasonable assessment as to whether this is for the overall good and it's for the overall good that doesn't come at the expense of taxpayers. And that soldier field debt, by the way, scheduled to be paid off in 2032. Worth noting this afternoon, the village of Arlington Heights put out a statement saying that they have spoken with the Bears and that even though the team's evaluating all of its options, they confirmed they are still have continued interest in the Arlington Park site. Worth noting as well that these uh, plans from the Bears coming a few weeks after the White Sox made their plans known for a new stadium as well. Stefan? Everybody wants a new stadium right now. Right. All right, Bennett, thank you very much.